Poppin' Fools, it's your boy Mark, the Shark, and we are back with more Barrow episode number 13 and the start of season 2. I just want to say thank you to everyone that came out for the preseason live stream that happened on last Tuesday, because y'all are getting this episode on Friday, the breaking the fourth wall there, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys are ready for a brand new season and a brand new Barrow team. But before we see them, let's go ahead and get into this first game versus Scunthorpe United. Come on, boys. Season 2. Let's push for promotion. Let's get it. Alright, well, to start off, we do see a new formation as we are now running the 4-3-3 attack and we see some new players in the side. Alright, so in our front three, we have Alexandra Launay over the left wing, Ezra Elliott at striker, and Ian Buckley over the right wing. Briam sits behind them at the 10 and Gregor Moller gets his first official debut in a competitive game. Right next to Neil Kavanaugh in the midfield three. Uh, Adorante starts at left back now. Cristobal Iglesias unfortunately was beaten out over the preseason by Adorante. So it is a new start. And Daniel Bond and Sigurd Jornsson still partner in that middle. But if you saw the preseason last stream, you know that we have a tasty, tasty center back waiting for a mistake from one of those two. And William Tonye starts at right back. And in the net, a new goalkeeper, Kai Phoenix, begins his career here at Holker Street. Let's get straight into it. It's the 31st of July. The new season has begun. Barrow, Scunthorpe United. Let's get it. Here we go. Holker Street is the venue. It's a home game to start the year. Let's start it off right, boys. Let's go. Oh, it's straight back. Gregor Muller charging forward. Looking for the ball through. Ashbourne, Briam. Oh, that's a save. Ian Buckley tries to charge it down, but just bumped off the angle. Unlucky there. It's a good save from Watson in the net for Scunthorpe. Jeez, they play such a high line. That's going to take us to halftime. A rather defensive first half from Scunthorpe. We see a couple chances for Barrow, but none of the finishes that we saw in the preseason. So hopefully we see some more attacking wise from Barrow in the second half. Some more precision. That's all we need. Just the precision to find the back of the net. Second half begins now. Let's go. Big second half needed from the boys now as we are still set at 0-0. Hopefully we can find some goals here in the second. Oh no. Adorante, drop, son, drop, son. Gilead on the counterattack for Scunthorpe. That's a ball to the back post. Kai Phoenix makes a great save there. Beautiful stuff, son. Gregor Muller. Just looking for a chance. Oh, that's a chance and a half. Briam finish. There's the goal that we needed. And it's Ashbourne Briam who opens the scoring here in season two. What a ball from Gregor Muller to split the defense. It was calm. It was patient. It was coming for the boys. We were all over Scunthorpe today. So that is a very nice ball. Nice fake there from Ezra. And a calm finish. Let's go, boys. 1-0. Come on, you bluebirds. It's 1-0. Let's go finish this one. Come on, boys. Ben Vian, nice block, Bon. It falls straight to Essa. Nice, Bon! Yes, son. Great defense there. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we love to see from our vice captain. Spence. Oh, no. Bonds missed his tackle. Kai Phoenix, great save, son. Protect your clean sheet there, boy. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Van Vien. Oh, no. Not tight marking in the back from Bond and Sigurd Jornsson. And Van Vien finds a, a yard of space. And that's all he needs to finish in the bottom corner. Oh, we lost the ball, and Scunthorpe got one last chance, and it's 1-1. One, one. 
Damn, that's so unrewarding to the defense. Couldn't spark a counterattack, and that's full time. It's a draw in the first game. It was a rather exciting first game, honestly. It was back and forth. We just got to finish our chances. Probably should have put them away very early, but it's unlucky. But we'll take the point. We'll take the point. It was not a, it was not a bad performance from the boys at all. It was just unlucky defending in the end of the game. So we'll have to clean that up for the second game. But second game is coming up here soon. Let's get to it. All right, so three scouts are in. We need to send them to countries. So let's go ahead and send them out. First up, Jarno Carilla. Where are we going to send him to? Well, let's send him to Hungary. Yeah, that's a good that's a good spot. They always have some nice players. So let's go ahead and send them for any. And Rory Cavanaugh. We'll keep him in the British Isle and send him back to England, but we're going to have him look for, um, let's go for some playmakers. Let's find us a nice playmaker from England. And Christian Anderson last, but certainly not least, we are going to send him to, uh, you know what? Let's send him to Asia. Let's give our, let's give our Icelandic buddy a nice long road trip to Japan. Let's go Japan. Thierry Goli has been loaned out. Peter Connor has been sold to Mepin. And Jury Che has a transfer offer in from Sport Club Verl in Germany. We're going to go ahead and accept that. That's nicely done. Thank you for your services, Jury Che. All right. Game number two of the episode sees us going away from home to Bradford City. And a couple changes to the starting lineup, but... Relatively all the same from game one. Alexander Launay starts on the left wing. Ezra Elliott up top. Eric Begge comes into the side over the right wing. Briam McQuillan and Kavanaugh in the midfield three. Adorante, Bon, Sigurd Jornsson, and Tonye in the back line of defense. And Cyril Skalicki will get a start in the net. Kai Phoenix had a good one. Good run out against Scunthorpe. But we're going to go ahead and save him for the Morecambe game in the midweek. So, game number two. Let's go get three points, boys. Come on. All right. A beautiful day here in Bradford. Bradford City and Barrow get kicked off. Let's go, boys. Go three. Turns. Cyril Skalicki, nice save. Way to get down quick, son. Oh, damn it. How do I not tackle that with Adorante? And it's 1-0 to Bradford on the counter-attack. Adorante barely missed the interception on the slide to keep them from coming through. And it's 1-0 to Bradford City. There you go. Ezra, way to make the run, son. Smash it home. Yes! Uh, that's the run that we needed and some strength from Ezra. And he opens his account in the league with a nice, nice goal. 1-1. Come on, boys. Just got up and used his strength, did Ezra. That's 1-1. One, one. Come on, boys. That's going to take us to the half-time break. It's 1-1. One, one. A nice goal from Ezra Elliott there right before the half to get us back into the game with an equalizer. We're going to need a second half where everyone's running and flying around because Bradford City just want to sit and defend and then counterattack. So... 1-1, one, one. let's get to the second half and hope for a better performance. <sighs> second half here from Bradford City. It's 1-1, one, one. let's go get us a winner, boys. Let's go. That's a ball through. Neil Cavanaugh, right foot, on strike it. Yes! That's some power! Call him Mirio Togata from My Hero Academia because that's power from Neil Cavanaugh. 2-1, boys. That's a strike and a half. A nice counterattack. Straight down the middle. Smashes it past the keeper. No chance. Let's go. 2-1 for the boys in blue. This is promising, boys. Let's go finish this. Big. Briam. Forward for Colm Garvey. 
Does the boy have it in him? Inside Brigham, he's gonna finish that one! Yes! It's three! And that's gonna end this one. Come on, boys! What a counterattack there from the lads. Calm Garvey shows some pace and then calmness to play it into Brigham, and Brigham finishes. That's nice. This, this right here, yeah. That one there. And a left footed finish across the goal, too. Definitely scuffed it, but you know what? It's all right. I'll take this. 3 1 for Barrow. A beautiful away win here. Come on. One last chance for Bradford. They play the ball back. It'll be a turnover because Laune was on it, and that's going to take us to three points. Beautiful win, boys, as we just come from behind and show our class. Oh, baby, that's a good one. This is one that we will be fond of. Ezra Elliott gets a goal. Briam scores twice today. No, once. Who else scored? Neil Cavanaugh. Neil Cavanaugh. Yes, 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 yes. I remember. Short-term memory is a thing. But three goals to the good and three points. Come on, boys. Next game up. Let's go. Oh, a transfer offer in for Derry Donahue from Rochdale. Let's see, 420? I'm sorry, Derry. I'm going to have to accept it. He might find himself a new home in Rochdale here soon. All right, game number three, last game of the episode, and it is going to be a EFL Cup, the magic of the cup, here at Holker Street as we see the boys get ready. It's a rotational side as this is a midweek game and everyone is tired except for our front three. So we see Laune, Elliot, and Buckley up front, the bell combination as I will call them. Derry Donahue gets a start in the attacking midfield role. He is on a potential transfer out so this might be his last game in the barrow shirt barry smith and gregor muller start in the midfield three alongside Derry donahue and in the back cristobal iglesias captains us over the left michael speak and malcolm edgar are in the middle of the park and rasmus jordan are over is over the right hand side of the defense and in the net kai phoenix our new number one so let's go make a little cup run boys Barrow, Morkum, last game of the episode. Let's go. Here we go with the Carabao Cup round one game against Barrow. Against Barrow. For Barrow against Morkum. Come on, boys. Ezra Elliott. Nothing going there. Center backs on him like white on rice, and I would be too. Barry Smith. Launay, right foot, son. Left foot. Oh, he's finished it. It's a penalty. No, ref. Keep us with the game. No. It's a penalty early on for Morkum. I mean, Alexander Launay finished it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Alexander Launay still sets over our penalties, so here's his chance to finish it. And will he? Launay versus Mendez in the net. He's going left. Alexander Launay, oh that's side netting, that's a beautiful finish from the Frenchman. That's our favorite fighting Frenchman. Shouts to Hamilton and Lafayette. Alexander Launay makes it 1-0. Eight minutes in and it's 1-0 to borrow against Morecambe here in the Carabao Cup round one tie. Iglesias goes back to Kai Phoenix, who goes straight back to Cristobal Iglesias. No, Cristobal, that's not where I want you to play that. Nice tackle though. You recovered well. That's not where I wanted that ball to go. And Michael Speak. Easy tackle. Straight back in. Gregor Muller, right foot, son, strike it! Oh! He's almost found the top bins there. That's just wide. How unlucky. In the second, in the first half. Ezra Elliott. Derry Donahue. Back for Ezra Elliott. Left foot. Oh, it's just wide. And that's going to take us half time. 1 0 for the boys here in the Carabao Cup. It's a promising, promising start. It was a nice start from Alexander Laune. 
He had a shot deflected onto the hand of the defender, won himself a penalty and converted it himself. But now we just got to hit the back of the net one more time and close out this one. 1-0 one at the break. Let's go get into the second half. A beautiful start to the first half and let's go get another one here in the second. Come on, boys. I wanted a back heel, but all right. Laune. Oh, he's hit the post. Laune almost had his second on the day, and he's hit the post. Come on, son. Nice, Derry. Mother. Couldn't find anything. McQuillan. Mother. Inside. Derry. Donahue. Comb. Garvey. Left foot. Oh, he struck it over. He put so much power behind it. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know how that one didn't go in off the post. I'm not sure. I'm genuinely un... un I went to charge forward and then tried to cut it back and it wasn't going. But that's three. Not three points. That's through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. It's a 1-0 win. It was a strong defensive performance from the boys. I don't think Kai Phoenix had to make a legit save at all other than punches on crosses catches things like that from long balls but Laune had his chances he was a spark he was even though it was kind of here and there but that off the post shot should have gone in but 1-0 we're through the next round I'll take it come on boys a great penalty from Laune as well yeah they didn't have a single shot <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a defensive performance. 10 tackles from the boys. Malcolm Edgar played an 8.3. Cracked, my guy. Beautiful stuff from the boys. Let's get moving. What a way to start off season number two for the boys in blue as we get three games and there's no losses in those three games. A draw and two wins for the boys and we are through to the next round of the EFL Cup. Did I just see that right? It said Parma and Real Madrid in the Super Cup. That means Parma won the Europa League. That's insane in year one for them in the Europa League. That's beautiful stuff. But enough of that. We're not caring about other things. We're not there yet, so we will be soon enough. But season two the first episode of season two is done and dusted episode 13 we are through to the next round of the carabao cup and we pick up a nice start to the league campaign thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed this episode and like always i'll see you next time peace